فؤادك الأيام فت وجب على الأئمة والملوك بعث دعاة إلى إخلاص التوحيد فمن رجع وأقر حقن عليه دمه وما حقن حقن عليه دمه وماله وضراريه ومن أصر فقد أباح الله منه ما أباح لرسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم من المشركين So the Sheikh رحمه الله he says um, it is obligatory وجب على, وجب على الأئمة it is obligatory on the leaders وملوك and the kings بعثوا دعات إلى الناس they send دعات who call the people to إلى إلى إخلاص التوحيد لله that's the job of a da'i he calls the people to what to sing with Allah in worship فمن رجع anyone who comes back to his senses after the du'at have gone back to them or the du'at went to them they came back to their senses they came back from the shirk وأقر and they affirmed the tawheed that they were taught حقن عليه دمه وماله وذراريه his blood is sacred حقن means what? his blood is safe no one's going to touch it وماله and his wealth وذراريه and his women and his wives and his children وَمَنْ أَصَرَّ anyone who's consistent upon what? The shirk. فَقَدْ أَبَاحَ اللَّهُ مِنْهُ Allah has permitted from that person to be done to him. مَا أَبَاحَ لِرَسُولِهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ سَلَّمِ مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ That which the most mushriks, it was permissible from them. To fight with them. To fight with them. So here the shaykh, rahimahullah, he is he's pointing out a matter known as إقامة الحجة. The proof has to be established on the people. Which is a matter, which is a matter that the scholars, they speak about a lot, which was called Al-Uzru bil Jahli. Can ignorance, can ignorance uh, be an excuse from placing a person on takfir and etc. Inshallah ta'ala, uh, first of all, we need to understand this qa'id and this qa'id needs to be memorized. Talib ilm has to have principles where he comes back to in order for the matter to not what? Have idhirab. It, sh- it doesn't contradict for him. And that the student of knowledge is not just speaking because Fulan and Alan said it. But his answer on this issue is based upon what the ulama said and on qawaid which the scholars have picked up from, which are qawaid rasina. Or else you're going to be a person when a scholar says something, you just follow that scholar because you like him. Okay? So this is the qa'idah which you need to remember. Which is, أن uh, الجهلة Ignorance is what? عذر شرعي it's a legislational excuse. The Sharia made it excuse. فَلَيْسَ ذَلِكَ عَلَىٰ إِطْلَاقِهِ And that is not unrestricted. Ignorance is the excuse that the Sharia placed, yes, but it's not unrestricted. It's restricted. So what is it restricted to? What is it that we have to observe? Here, inshallah ta'ala, I'm going to mention what we need to look at. Number one, what we need to look at is نَوْعِيَّةُ uh, المسائل. We need to look at the type of matter is it wuduhan or khafa'an? Is the matter something apparent? Everyone knows it? Or is it from those detailed matters which needs a very, t- very good, it needs a very good look? So we look at the issue that we have in hand. And based on the issue huh, that we have in hand, the issue changes and it differs. And Imam al-Shafi'i rahimahullah, and Imam al-Shafi'i as Ibn Hajar brought in Fathul Bari, Imam al-Shafi'i said, explaining this issue, he said, لِلَّهِ أَسْمَاءٌ وَالصِّفَاتٌ Allah has names and Allah has attributes. لَا يَسِعُ أَحَدًا It is not permissible for anybody رَدُّهَا to reject it. Allah has names and Allah has what? Attributes. It is not permissible for anybody to reject Allah's names and attributes. This is Tawheed. Tawheed al-Asma'i wa-Sifat. وَمَنْ خَالَفَ Anyone who goes against it. بَعْدَ ثُبُوتِ الْحُجَّةِ after the proof is established on him. فَقَدْ كَفَرَ He's a disbeliever. وَأَمَّا قَبْلَ قِيَامِ الْحُجَّةِ As for before the evidence is placed on him, فَإِنَّهُ يُعْذَرُ بِالْجَهْلِ Ignorance would be made, made an excuse for him. Why? Because the Shaykh, Shaykh, Imam al-Shafi'i is looking at the mas'ala. He's looking at the mas'ala that is in hand. Which is what? لِأَنَّ Because because the knowledge of this matter, which is al-asma'i wa sifat, la yudraku bil-aql. 
a person cannot comprehend it with their logic. A person cannot come to a conclusion regarding this issue by what? By observation, by taking it easy. Uh, some of the Nusak says, الرؤية, that's the correct way. And some say Rawiya. But the Rawiya seems right. By looking, by observing. It doesn't come around like that. Hayya. فَنُثْبِتُ هَذِهِ الصِّفَاتِ We affirm these characteristics for Allah. وَنَنْفِي عَنْهُ التَّشْبِيهِ And we negate from him any resemblance. كَمَا نَفَى عَنْ نَفْسِهِ The way Allah negated from himself. فَقَالَ سُبْحَانَهُ Allah says, لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٍ There is nothing like him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, based on this right now, based on what Imam al-Shafi'i rahimahu Allah, Imam al-Shafi'i said that this matter, we give udur bil jahl. Why? Because it's a matter which is khafi. It's a mas'ala which is khafi. It requires ilm. It requires comprehension. And it's from the what? Al-masailu al-daqiqatul khafiya. So when you talk about this issue, al-udru bil jahl, you need to observe this issue or you will fall into what? You will fall into uh, incorrect understanding. Very good. Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab also said at that first point, which is to look at the matter, whether it's apparent or not. The first point, Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab, rahimahullah, he said, Inna shakhs al muayyan a specific person, uh, قام, if it occurs from him, ma yujibul kufra, if it occurs from him, that which necessitates kufr, that which necessitates kufr, if it comes from him, فَإِنَّهُ لَا يُحْكَمُ بِكُفْرِهِ He is not, kufr is not put on him. حَتَّى تَقُومُ عَلَيْهِ الْحُجَّةِ Until the proof is established on him. حَتَّى until what? حَتَّى تَقُومُ عَلَيْهِ الْحُجَّةِ until the hujja, the proof is established, hatta until the proof is established on him. Alati yakfuru tarikuha, in which the person who leaves it becomes a kafir. Until that proof is established. Wahada, pay attention, underline this. Wahada fil masail al khafiyya. That is in matters which are hidden. Alati qad yakfa daliluha ala ba'd al nas, which it is evidence is hidden from some people. Pay attention. Muhammad Abdul Wahab, rahimahullah, it needs understanding what he means. وَأَمَّا مَا يَقَعُ مِنْهُمْ فِي الْمَسَائِلِ الظَّاهِرَةِ الْجَلِيَةِ As for, if a person, he falls in a matter which is kufr, but it's مَسَائِلِ الظَّاهِرَةِ الْجَلِيَةِ Apparent, it's open, it's one of those famous matters. أو ما يعلم or that which is known out of what? من الدين بالضرورة or it's known out of the religion by way of necessity. فَهَذَا لَا يُتَوَقَّفُ فِي تَكْفِيرِ قَائِلِهِ Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab said, we do not withhold from placing takfir on that person. This matter is wadah. That Allah is the only one you prostrate to. Allah is the only one you do ibadah for. This matter, matter is ma'alum min ad bi dharura. It is known out of necessity from the religion. Or it's from the masail which are what? Masail which are a zahira that are apparent al jaliya. Good. Muhammad Abdul Wahab and uh, Imam al Shafi'i rahimahullah with them. The next thing that we need to observe as well is that halul jahil, the situation pertaining to the person who's ignorant and his characteristics. What does that mean? It means that the people تتفاوتوا قوة وضعفة The people, they differ in terms of strength and ability. They do. In terms of the comprehension of information. They differ. But not, the people, not everyone is the same as the other person. We need to observe that. And it has to be what? It has to be looked into. Shaykh Al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said a speech talking about that matter. <laughs> ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah, he said, لا يكفر العلماء من استحل شيء من المحرمات لا يكفر العلماء he said they said the scholars they don't do takfir on a person who makes halal شيئا من المحرمات something that's from the prohibited thing the علماء don't make takfir of a person like which person لقرب عهده بالإسلام because he newly entered Islam they observed his situation his characteristics or what he is is that he just entered Islam. And he's making halal for himself something which is what? It is haram. He's making halal for himself something which is halal, haram. Huh? And why, why is he doing that? He is new to Islam. Or he, was, he grew up in a, uh, uh, outside a badia means an open livestock lifestyle. When he doesn't live amongst the ulama and the people of knowledge, فَإِنَّ حُكْمَ الْكُفْرِ لَا يَكُونُ إِلَّا بَعْدَ بُلُوغِ الرِّسَالَةِ That individual, 
kufr is not placed on him until their proof is established on him. وَكَثِيرُ مِنْ هَأُولَاءِ And a lot of those people قَدْ لَا يَكُونُ قَدْ بَلَغَتُ النُصُوصِ A lot of those people, the evidences didn't reach them. الْمُخَالِفَةُ لِمَا يَرَى Opposing what he sees. He's never seen an evidence that goes against what he's, what he's doing. وَلَا يَعْلَمُ أَنَّ الرَّسُولَ بُعْثَ بِذَلِكَ And he doesn't even know that the messenger was sent for this matter. So he's new to Islam. So this individual what? It is obligatory that we, we distinguish that person. And we see what type of person he is. He just entered Islam. We what? But here we have to realize something. If a person, he hasn't heard this issue before. Okay? He's unable to gain that knowledge. He hasn't got it. Hey, yeah? Or he can't comprehend it. The scholars, they divide it into a person who is uh, jahil, is ignorant. And he doesn't have the ability to seek knowledge. Okay? He's unable to. Or to understand. The scholars, they categorize it into two types. A person who is jahil, who is a, unable to seek knowledge and to understand it, and he loves guidance. He's really in love of guidance and the haqq. He loves the truth. Wherever it comes to him, he will take it. Okay? But he's unable to. The scholars, they say, That person is excused for his ignorance. And the evidence didn't reach him. He didn't hear anybody to explain it to him. He's a person who's a good-hearted person. Evidence didn't come to him regarding this issue. Naam. He's in that place that no one's is talking to the call into it. The second one is Al Jahil. He's ignorant. He's unable to gain knowledge and he's also unable to understand it. He's unable to. But he doesn't even want to. He doesn't even want to gain it. La irada lahu. He has no drive or anything. Rather, he goes against it. And he's pleased with his ignorance and his own affairs. He's happy with it. He will like the way he is. His nafs doesn't push him to wanting to go out of his way and trying to gain it. Huh? This individual, huh? um, his situation is not like, not like the previous one. Because they're different, those two. The, th the third thing that we look into, inshallah ta'ala, is the situation or the bait of the person. We look at the person's bi'ah that they live in. The lifestyle and the atmosphere and the environment that they live in. We, we, diff, we distinguish between what? We distinguish between the places and the time where knowledge had spread and in the places and the time where knowledge is low. The scholars will look at it. He lives in a society and a place where it's the Prophet, the Prophet is absent from there. He lives in the Amazon forest, for example. This individual is different. Lidak Shaykh Al-Islam Bin Taymi Rahimahullah he said about that individual he said, إِنَّ الْأَمْكِنَةَ الَّتِي تَفْتَرُ فِيهَا النُّبُوَّةَ لَا يَكُونُ حُكْمُ مَنْ خَفِيَّتْ عَلَيْهِ آثَارُ النُّبُوَّةِ حَتَّى أَنْكَرَ مَا جَاءَتْ بِهِ خَطَأً كَمَا يَكُونُ حُكْمُهُ فِي الْأَمْكِنَةِ وَالْأَزْمِنَةِ الَّتِي ظَهَرَتْ بِهَا آثَارُ النُّبُوَّةِ Shaykh Al-Islam Bin Taymi says, the places where the prophetic, Nabi Allah Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Risala, uh, is hidden and is not there. No one is not reached them. They live in a place where Islam, Muslims, they've never heard of it. They don't know anything of it. Uh, and they, huh? They are upon the way that they are. Sheikh Al Islam Ibn Taymiyyah, that is, he said, the ruling pertaining to that, and the place and the time where knowledge has spread and the Tawheed and the prophetic message has reached them, he says, you farraq, it's distinguished between the two. And he even said, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, وَكَثِيرٌ مِنَ النَّاسِ قَدْ يَنْشَأُ فِي الْأَمْكِنَةِ وَالْأَزْمِنَةِ الَّتِي يَنْدَرِسُ فِيهَا كَثِيرٌ مِنْ عُلُومِ النُّبُوَاتِ حَتَّى لَا يَبْقَى مَنْ يُبَلِّغُ مَا بَعَثَ اللَّهُ بِهِ رَسُولَهُ مِنَ الْكِتَابِ وَالْحِكْمَةِ فَلَا يَعْلَمُ كَثِيرًا مِمَّا بَعَثْ مِمَّا يُبْعَثُ مِمَّا يَبْعَثُ اللَّهُ بِهِ رَسُولُهُ وَلَا يَكُونُ هُنَاكَ مَنْ يُبَلِّغُهُ ذَلِكَ وَمِثْلُ هَذَا لَا يَكُونُ وَلِهَذَا اتَّفَقَ الْأَئِمَّةُ عَلَى أَنَّ مَنْ نَشَأَ بِبَادِيَّةٍ بَعِيدَةٍ عَنْ أَهْلِ الْعِلْمِ وَالْإِيمَانِ وَكَانَ عَدْ حَدِيثَ الْعَهْدِ بِالْإِسْلَامِ فَأَنْكَرَ شَيْئًا مِنْ هَذِهِ الْأَحْكَامِ الظَّاهِرَةِ الْمُتَوَاتِرَةِ فَإِنَّهُ لَا يُحْكَمُ بِكُفْرِهِ حَتَّى يَعْرِفَ مَا جَاءَ بِهِ الرَّسُولُ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ Ah, Shaykh Al-Islam Taymi says a lot of people, they might be raised in a place or a time where Islam has perished. It's worn out. And the prophetic knowledge has gone. You see? حَتَّى لَا يَبْقَى مَنْ يُبَلِّغْ And there isn't no one out there who's conveying that message to them from the kitab and the hikmah. And a lot of them, فَلَا يَعْلَمُ كَثِيرًا مِمَّا يَبْعَثُ اللَّهُ بِهِ رَسُولَهُ وَلَا يَكُونُ هُنَاكَ مَنْ يُبَلِغُ ذَلِكَ they don't know the prophetic. They don't know what the Prophet is saying. They don't know the hadith. They can't read it themselves. 
and there's no one out there exposing this issue to them or bringing it to their attentions. He then says, That person, takfir is not placed on him. And he says, The ulama are unanimously in agreement. That anybody who is born in a badia, a place which is outside where the ulama and the people of knowledge are, Far from the scholars and the people of Iman. And he's new to Islam and he rejects. He rejects what? A, a matter from the religion that is brought to him. He just rejects it. He says, no, I don't want to take this. Which is mutawatir. This matter, Even though if another person did it, he would have been referred to as a kafir. This one wouldn't be. Why? Because he has to be made takfir. So that, why is that? Because of the place he's at and there's no one to teach him. Okay. The uh, issue that finally we're going to have to look at as well, which is the fourth issue is, um, is min haythu tasmiyat wal In terms of the name that we give him and in terms of the punishment. And I'm going to conclude this issue inshallah ta'ala because there's a lot of issues that can be said. Um, the issue of um, if a person is mutalabbisu bi shirk, a person he's fallen into shirk, shirk al akbar, he's prostrating to an idol or a wali or a sahibu qabrin, a person in a grave. What is the name in which we give this person? This person is a mushrik. Even if he says the shahadatain. Waqta sujudi when he's doing the sujood. Why? He came with something that will nullify the statement that he just said. He's a mushrik. Like Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, rahimahullah, he said. <coughs> the name is mushrik is, the name mushrik is what? Is his. We're going to call him a mushrik. As for the uquba, the punishment of Allah, the day of judgment, Allah might forgive him, subhanahu wa ta'ala, for ignorance. For Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, he may forgive him for what? Ignorance. Allah might, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and say that you have an excuse as ignorance, the punishment may differ. As for the name mushrik, it doesn't go. We give that name to him. He's a mushrik. المشركين, and we deal with him the way we deal with a mushrikin. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah said, وَإِسْمُ الْمُشْرِكِ The name mushrik. Uh, يُثْبَتُ يثبت أن هذه الأسماء مقدم عليها وكذا اسم الجهل والجاهلية يقال جاهلية وجاهلا قبل مجيء الرسول وأما التعذيب فلا ابن تيمية mentions to us sorry 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 I mixed a couple of words of his I missed a line he said واسم المشرك قبل قبها واسم المشرك ثبت قبل الرسالة فإنه يشرك بربه ويعدل به ويجعل معه آلهة أخرى ويجعل له أندادا قبل الرسول ويثبت أن هذه الأسماء مقدم عليها وكذلك اسم الجهل والجاهلية يقال جاهلية وجاهلا قبل مجيء الرسول وأما التعذيب فلا ابن تيمية exactly what I said the name مشرك that title مشرك it's affirmed for him even before the message of Islam reached him Imrul Qais Antar ibn Shadd all the kuffar مشركين even before Nabi Allah Muhammad came, even before Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they're mushrikeen. They're referred to as mushriks. You see, Shaykh al-Islam al We also refer to them as what? Ahlul Jahiliyyah. Jahiliyyah is saying because they're ignorant. But they're mushriks. Good. Before the Prophet came to them. Good. So here, but Shaykh al-Islam al he said, وَأَمَّا التَّعْذِيبُ فَلَا As for the punishment, as for adab, فَلَا no. It's between them and Allah. Allah may, may look at them as Ahlul Fatrah. That's a mas'ala of Akhar. Amma the kuffar. And Nawi rahimahullah said the same. Wa amma al jahiliyatu fa ma kana qabla al nubuwati summiya bidalika li kathrati jahalatihim. The Ahlul Jahiliyyah, he said they are before the Prophetic, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, before the Prophet came into uh, place, or he came into alayhi wa sallam. Summu bidalika, the reason why they were called al jahiliyyah is because li kathrati jahalatihim. Because their ignorance was excessive and it was too much. And there are many evidences that a person can be given the title Mushrik and Kufr, even that though that, even that the ignorance is there. 
Where is the ayah in the Quran? وَإِنْ أَحَدٌ مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ اسْتَجَارَكَ فَأَجِرُهُ حَتَّى يَسْمَعَ كَلَامَ اللَّهِ ثُمَّ أَبْلِغُهُ مَا مَلَى ذَلِكَ بِأَنَّهُمْ قَوْمٌ لَا يَحْلَمُونَ Allah said, وَإِنْ أَحَدٌ مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ If one of the mushriks and the pagans come to you, وَإِنْ أَحَدٌ مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ اسْتَجَارَكَ فَأَجِرُهُ Give him shelter. Bring him in. He asks you for shelter. He says, keep me home. فَأَجِرُهُ حَتَّى يَسْمَعَ كَلَامَ اللَّهِ Allah says the reason is because they are قَوْمٌ لَا يَحْلَمُونَ There are people who don't know. But Allah says, أَحَدٌ مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ You see, also Allah تبارك وتعالى said in the ayah, لَمْ يَكُنِ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ وَالْمُشْرِكِينَ مُنْفَكِينَ حَتَّى تَأْتِيَ هُمُ الْبَيِّنَةِ Until you come with them clear-cut evidence. مَعَ ذَلِكَ What happened here? ثبوت وصف الشرك والكفر مع الجهل. so it's important that ها all of this was said to them when قبل قيام الحجة والبيان before the evidence was established on them they were referred to as مشركين. then a lot of people has to as a conclusion إن which is حاصل الأمر is that a lot of people it is required في مسألة العذر بالجهل this matter العذر بالجهل it is important مُرَاعَاتُ نَوْعَيْ الْمَسَائِلِ الْمَجْهُولِ مِنْ جِهَةِ الْوُضُوحِ وَالْخَفَاءِ وَالنَّظَرِ إِلَى أَحْوَالِ النَّاسِ وَتَفَاوُتِ مَدَارِكِهِ مِنْ جِهَةِ الْقُوَّةِ وَالضَّعْفِ وَاعْتِبَارُ حَالِ بِيئَتِهِ مَكَانًا وَزَمَانًا مِنْ جِهَةِ وُجُودِ مَظَنَّةِ الْعِلْمِ مِنْ عَدَمِهِ مَعَ مُرَاعَاتِ التَّفْرِيقِ فِي الْحُكْمِ بَيْنَ أَحْكَامِ الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةِ Another thing all of those we have to observe we have to observe the matter which is in hand is it apparent or is it what it is is it hidden is it from those Masail which are khafi, hidden, that the person is falling in ignorance regarding it? Or is it from those Masail which are wadih, bayina? It's important that we look into that issue. We also look at the people's comprehension. Uh, the people who are talking to, who, who are being spoken to, madarikihim min jihati, from the angle of al quwwat wa al how their comprehension in terms of strength and power is. Also, we have to observe the bay'ah that they're in, the bi'ah and the surroundings and the environment that they're in, in terms of its timing and in terms of its place. If they look, people in the Amazon forest, we can't, really, we can't give them the same ruling as people who live in Somalia who are doing shirk. And every corner, there are people who call it Tawheed. Or people who live in Pakistan who are doing shirk or Akbar. Their ruling is different. You see? Also, we have to distinguish between what? If there are ulama who are present at that place, who are distinguishing the matter. And we also finally, which is the fourth one, which is the last one, we also have to observe the worldly ruling that we give them and the hereafter ruling. In this world, they're mushrikeen to us. العذاب, as for punishment, It's between them and Allah. Allah may not punish them for it. He might question them. He might test them the day of judgment. But for us, he is a mushrik. This name has to be given to him. This name has to be given to him. So this, I think, inshallah ta'ala, is the way to bring all the aqwal of Shaykh al-Islam Taymiyyah, Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab. And the haqiqat al-amr, this mas'ala is not an issue which you could say. Uh, you can just say, يُعذر أو لا يُعذر. Excuse is given or is it not? But I think, inshallah ta'ala, with that tafseel, the matter is, inshallah ta'ala, it makes it clear for the talibu ilm, a student of knowledge, the person who is looking for the haqq. Naam.